Hey there, thank you for joining me. I'm Charlotte with Colorful Teaching for You, and today we are going to be talking about how to find your passion in life. Ho, ho, ho. Oh. Merry Christmas. Oh my gosh, she's there. Santa. 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 But Holly had this letter <laughs> that she wanted answered. Maybe you can answer it for, for her. <laughs> yes! Please, and bring it over. Hey, little elf, <laughs> can you give this to Charlotte? It's so fun. Oh, Holly! Yes! You've got a special elf, and you've got a letter. Dear Santa, I feel like I'm losing my jolly. I need to find my passion in life. Please help. Love, Holly. <gasps> well, I want to stay on Santa's good list, so we're going to get ready while Santa puts the elf to sleep so that he can go deliver presents. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> oh, Santa. Oh, that was fun. <laughs> oh, can you join me? I hope you had as much fun as I did. <laughs> well, I want to stay on the nice list, like I said, so we've got to go and answer this question. She needs, Holly needs to find her dolly, which is finding her passion. So let's do this. I've got four steps to help you find your passion. The first step is, well, find the love. At least that's what I call it. So I want you to answer three questions. The first question is, what do you love doing? So if you can't find, if you don't know the answer to this question, it's totally okay. We'll answer the next one. The next one is, what, um, what do you like consuming? So what do you consume a lot of? Podcasts, audio, books, um, videos, or YouTube, whatever it is that you're into, what do you consume a lot of? And then the next one, the third question is, what excites you? What do you get excited to talk about? So here's an example. For me, it's teaching. I eat, breathe, live, everything teaching. If you watch any of my videos, you know that that's my thing. I watch audiobooks of well, don't watch audiobooks. I really listen to audio books about it, podcasts. Um, I watch YouTube videos. I want to be a better teacher. That's my thing. It didn't just happen one night. It took time, and we'll talk more about that in a bit. But what do find the love? What do you love doing? If you don't know the answer to this question, the second step is to light the tree. <laughs> Can you tell this is all about Christmas here? <laughs> so light the tree. What I mean by that is pick up the phone and ask your friend, or a friend or a close friend or family member what when you talk what lights you up like a Christmas tree what do you get so excited about and if they can't see you they should be able to hear it in your voice it oozes excitement oozes out of you that's what um, they can tell you about the third step is not the door so for he for here I don't want you to just sit around and try and figure it out because sometimes we can get stuck in this rut of I don't know what I'm passionate about. I don't know what I'm good at. So I'm going to stay here in this mode forever. I don't want you to sit and wait for life. What I want you to do is think about what inspires you, what gets your juices going, what gets you excited, and start from there. Just work on something, anything, and inspiration will come and follow. And if it doesn't, put it aside, start the next thing. But make sure you start somewhere. So what I mean by this is, when I first started out with teaching, I can tell you I didn't just get right into it. I wanted to be a police officer. I wanted to go and be a journalist. I wanted to be a, a criminal defense attorney. Heck, I, I studied. My undergraduate degree is about forensic anthropology and archaeology. So bones are my thing. I love it. right? So I studied about it. But eventually, teaching just kept coming up. In fact, where I was, I was telling a sister this the other day, where I was sitting, or my archaeo the archaeology department in at SFU where I studied, it connects to the um, it connected to the education department, and so I found myself wandering there anyway, and so I just went in and took a look. So you know, look at what's what's happening in your life. Take a step, go for it. Don't just stay in a standstill. Okay, so that's step three. Don't wait for the door to come for the for anyone to knock your door. The fourth step is to shake it up. So what I mean by this is instead of saying oh this is so hard I don't like it I'm not gonna do it 
don't just stay there. What I want you to do is work at it because it is work, right? Sometimes it's, it's not easy, but enjoy the process. Find something that makes you excited. Um, for example, when I'm creating episodes for this, for, for you know, you, you right now, or when I'm marking an assignment or even creating um, an, a unit or a lesson, I actually do um, watch a movie because I enjoy it. So right now I'm to Star Trek, everything. So, so I'm watching Star Trek. I'm enjoying myself a cup of eggnog, at least right now. I mean, otherwise it's tea. And I'm enjoying my Christmas cookies. And that gets me in the mood. And so I get really happy and I'm good and I'm productive. So what, what do you need to make, you, make yourself productive? Do that. The next, the fifth step is imagine the mountain. This for me, I actually had this a different name for it, but the other day I was driving and I looked at the scene in front of me and I thought, wow, this is beautiful. Right? If you've ever seen the mountains, especially in the winter time where it's covered with snow, it is spectacular. And so I don't care where you are, you can look at something else that um, that you find beautiful because beauty surrounds us, right? This is just something that caught my attention the other day. And I realized some people find passion to be something that they are, you know, naturally gifted at. And nobody is, you know, you might be naturally gifted at something, but it takes work. And when the, when, when the going gets rough, a lot of us say, nope, it's not meant to be, I'm done. Sometimes passion, because it takes work, seems like it's a bigger thing to do than it actually is. But when you finish it or when you're in the midst of it, it gets exciting, not always at the beginning. So if you've ever seen a mountain, think of it like this. It's you're kind of going up something, right? And this part here, that's some work. Going up there is a bit of work there too. But when you get up there, you're like, wow, this is wonderful. I can't believe I did this. But wait, you got to get down that mountain after a bit. So that's a little bit of work, a little bit easier because you've been working at it. And then you keep going down, you keep going down. And you're like, oh, this is not too bad. I can do this. Here's my passion. It's going. And then it come, you come down and you're like, wow, this is so awesome. I think I'm going to try another one of these. Right? So the passion a lot of us see when people are in the midst of it is when they're up here and then come down and getting all excited. But we don't see the work that goes into it. So make sure that you don't give up. If you have something, don't think of right now, this is what I want because what you want right now might be work, but think of your end, your big goal at the at the end. And we talked about goals um, just I think it was last week. We talked about them. So think of your big goal there and work toward that. That's your passion right there. So look at that uh, that passion right there and work toward that. All right. So let's recap really quickly what we talked about. We saw Santa. No, no, we didn't see Santa. We heard Santa and we saw his little elf, <laughs> and he gave us um, he gave us a note and we. Um, we answered Holly's question about finding her jolly, and we did that, <laughs> jolly being passion. We did that in five simple steps. The first one is to um, look at what you love, right? So find the love. The second one is light the tree. The third one is knock the door. The fourth one is to shake it up. And the fifth one is to imagine the mountains, all right? So that is my, that is my A to Holly's Q. If you have any questions, please do send them in. And in the meantime, I hope you have a wonderful Christmas. And if you don't celebrate Christmas, a happy holiday to you, holidays to you and your family and your loved ones. Merry Christmas and happy holidays. And I will see you again next week for, I guess, a New Year's Eve special. Can't wait to spend it with you. And I look forward to seeing you later. Take care, my friends. Bye.